Hello and welcome back to Sims 3 Island Paradise. So the last episode, Glenda went ahead and became pregnant. Dave is excited and he continues to work and take care of the island resort. So I'm going to throw a question out to you, the viewer. What do you think the name of their child should be? Let me know down in the comment section. You can give me a boy name, a girl name, a boy and a girl name. You can give me whatever you feel sees fit. I would love to hear from you on this fact so that way we can get things started for the next time. Maybe when the baby arrives, who knows? I actually thought about starting a second resort, but with Glenda being pregnant, Dave taking care of one resort and working, a second resort would be a little bit too much for both of them. Because I don't really see Glenda doing much. As a matter of fact, right now they're just sitting back and reading books. So, I think at this point they're both kind of exhausted from all their daily chores and doings. Can't really blame them. As for the resort itself, it seems to be doing pretty good now since we've added some of the upgrades to it. People seem to be saying good things, so that's always a plus. Can we get a review real quick? Resort management and to view those reviews. Okay, so we're still a three-star resort. Not too bad. You can claim to be a luxury resort without proper hot tub. Yeah, we don't have a hot tub. We should probably put a hot tub in there. How much money do we got? Uh, we have 4,900 simoleons. I think we can do a, a hot tub in there. A gym? Yeah, we don't have any gyms, so that's another thing. And that person appreciated the resort's attention to pool cleanliness. And that's always a big positive. So, can we go ahead and put a hot tub in here? Let's go to the bathroom real quick. And see, go to the bathroom real quick, right. Because that's a thing. We'll go here and see if we can't go ahead and find a hot tub. Oh my goodness, it's been a while since... <laughs> it's been a while since I've done it. Alright, so clearly the hot tub is not in here. I'll have to go ahead and refine it again. Wow, well I don't think we'll be getting a freaking hot tub anytime soon. Look at them prices! Holy crap! 9,000 simoleons? 9,300 simoleons? Oh wow, that is way off the top. Well... I guess you're just going to have to go ahead and wait, because we cannot afford any of that stuff. Actually, you know what? I'll be nice. I'll give you something so you can go ahead and be entertained with. We'll go ahead and give you a trampoline. Why not? Because people can always use trampolines, right? Feel free to go bouncing on the beach somewhere. If we have room for it. There you go. Go bounce by... Go bounce by the water. There you go. Have fun with it. Then people can go ahead and bounce right under the water and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, I don't know, because if they bounce in the water, it's kind of shallow right there. Someone could get hurt. But that's what insurance is for. Oh, well. So we have one of our maintenance workers over here. No, that's not a maintenance worker. Oops, sorry. He's just over there playing with the fire coals. Okay, well, good for him. Where's our maintenance worker? Where is that slacking maintenance worker? Maybe taking care of one of the bungalows. Well, if that's the case, then good for him. Keep up the good work. No, wait a minute. That was my maintenance worker. You slacker. You slacker. I didn't say you could play with the fire pit. Why are you playing with the fire pit? Get out of there. Jeez. I don't even know why you're even there. Go take care of the food. Go freshen the food. Oh. Dave. What are you doing? I want you to go get that shell. Go collect that shell for who knows what purpose. It could have a pearl inside. We can always use more of those, right? Well, what are you doing? Oh, no. We don't report. Don't return to port. No, 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 no. Don't return to port. Uh, you're already in a delicate state. We don't need you piloting the ship back. And we should probably do something with Dave's mom's ashes just sitting on a coffee table like that. That is just a little bit eerie. Oh, look. Dave found a common scallop shell worth 11 simoleons. Well, that is 11 simoleons that we did not have before. I will definitely take that. And, oh, Dave, what are we going to do with Mandy's ashes? We have no place for them. Well, for one, we probably shouldn't be leaving them out on the table like that. So, what I've got planned is we'll put another table in your computer room. And we'll just set her there. We'll just set her on an end table. This looks like a decent enough end table. Doesn't have to be fancy. But it does 
keep her out of the main way. So that way, people won't come in and be like, why are there, why is there an urn on the table? That makes no sense. Now, if I could put it up on a stand, that would be nice. Oh, well. So what are you doing, Dave? You hanging out of there for a bit? Ah, oh, you're splashing in the pool. A dip in the water is always a time to be remembered. Well, he's playing with the waterfall. Ah, oh, have fun with that, Dave. It looks like everything's calm here for the night, so we'll just go ahead and cut out for the time being. Morning has come. Diver's Paradise made a pretty good amount of simoleons. 1100, so that's really good. Not the tops, but better than nothing, right? Dave was paid 2,500 simoleons for personal time off for the holiday. That is pretty cool. Let's go back and see what the reviews say, shall we? Hopefully everything was well, everyone enjoyed their stay, and it's a definite step in the right direction. That's one hope, anyway. Let's see what the turnout was. Go to resort management for our reviews, and... Oh, well! Best buffet ever! I'll take that. I like the feast like a king. Too bad I couldn't do that here. Where were all the dinner options? Well, they were right there. But you just said it was the best buffet ever. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? I burned my feet at the firewalk pit. If I had to do it again, I wouldn't change a thing. Well, thank you, Chase L, for a great review. Sailor 260. The buffet was a vegetarian's dream. There were so many options. I want to top off my delicious meal with a trip to the dessert table. I was sad to hear I did not have one. We may have to fix that. I was happy at the buffet, but my nephew didn't find anything he wanted to eat. Okay, so there had to be children's options and it has to be at dessert table, but at least those folks are happy. See, this is already challenging enough to run one resort. I can only imagine two of them, but the good news is everyone seems to be a lot better off from where they were before. So we are stepping it up. We could become a four-star resort really, really soon. And that makes me very, very pleased. All right, let's close this. Uh-oh. Oh, what broke? What broke? Oh, stupid toilet. Hold on, man. Hold on. I was going to call you Mandy. Hold on, Glenda. We got to go back. Go back. You have to fix the toilet. I know you're pregnant, but you got to fix it. Them's the rules. You break it, you fix it. Look, it's good for your skills. You need to learn something. You may be pregnant and we'll take it easy on you, but you got to do something. Oh, and clean that tub, by the way, too. That thing is god-awful. God-awful. And then we'll go ahead and we'll let you swim. Because she's still a mermaid, and she's got to do those things. It would be really interesting, though, to see if her child, when it comes out, is a mermaid as well. That would be really awesome. Oh, time will fly, and baby will be here before we even know it. Can't wait. And, of course, a storm comes, so good luck swimming and all that. <laughs> 